Okay, so this section is all about inequalities. Now, an inequality is where we have a greater than or less than sign. So, if I put something on this side, y, that's saying it's less than whatever I put on this side. So, say a 4. If I have a line here, that's saying it's less than or equal to 4. Okay? So, they're, they're fairly straightforward. They work in exactly the same way as an equal sign. If you're rearranging, if you're doing anything with any sums around them, they work exactly the same as an equal sign. Just think of them exactly the same way. So, if I wanted to say x is greater than 5, but less than 12, I'd say x is greater than, the biggest side from 5, is less than the small one on it, 12. So 12 is bigger than x, but x is bigger than 5. So I know that x must be somewhere between 5 and 12. So that's just inequalities. Again, if I wanted to say it was less than or equal to 12, I'd just put a line underneath that saying it's less than or equal to 12. So, Basically, we're going to be given a load of inequalities and we've got a shade region on our graph where the inequality will be, where that will satisfy all the inequalities. So, we're given y equals, not y equals, that would be ridiculous, y plus x is less than 4. So that's our first one y is greater than x plus 5 okay and y is greater than 2 so we need to satisfy all these inequalities so the first thing we need to do we need to write all of them in this sort of form so this isn't in the right form this is basically that was an equal sign looks like a, a straight line to me. This doesn't at the moment, so we need to rearrange this. So let's do that. So how am I going to rearrange it? Like I said, treat it like an equal sign. We have to get rid of the x and the y on its own. So we have to take x away here, aren't we? Take x away here. So we end up with y must be less than x minus x plus 4. I just put the minus x in the front just because that's the way we're used to looking at it. I could have said 4 minus x, but minus x plus 4 is the same thing. So what we need to do, we need to draw these lines. So let's draw this line. y equals minus x plus 4. That's telling us we're going to cross at 4. Minus x, the gradient's just going to be minus 1. So it's nice and easy. So we go down 1, we go along 1, we go down 1. Let's go up one. Run on one. Okay. So that's going to be our first one. Okay. Let's draw that as least then as far as we can this way. As far as we can this way. Okay, so that's our first line. So our second line. Y X plus 5, so this time it's positive, and we're crossing a 5. So again, it's just a gradient of 1, nothing too untoward there. So we go a long one, and up 1, long one, and one, and up another one, and down 1, and a long one. You only need 3 points to draw a straight line, I'm just doing 4 because I fancy it maybe. Because I'm, that's not really, I'm not really doing a point for that. So. I'm just doing this pretty roughly, it doesn't need to be amazingly accurate. Okay, so that's this line. And then the final line we need to do, we're doing blue, which is y equals 2. So that's even easier. Just a straight line, straight across here. Okay. So now we actually have to satisfy. Excuse me. Now we actually have to satisfy all these conditions. So y is going to be less than minus x plus four. So here's our minus x plus four line. So y is going to be less than. So it's going to be this side of the line. 
Okay? This side lies greatly from this side of the line. So, which area we share? Do we share in this area, this area, or this area? Or maybe in this area. There's three, there's four distinct areas we could be shading in right now. So let's look at the next one. Y is greater than X plus 5. So here's our X plus 5 line. Y is greater than it. It's going to be this side of the line. Okay? So it's going to be this side of that line. So now we've got two areas. We've got one area here and one area here that it could potentially be. We know that Y must be less than 2. So Y will be less than 2. There's Y equals 2. Y is less than 2. It's down here. So here is our region which is satisfied by all the inequalities. Okay? And that's it. That's as straightforward as it is. Just draw those graphs. Get them in the form you need. So you can draw a graph. Draw the graphs. And then whittle it down area by area until you have the area you need to shade in. Okay? Go away. Practice some of those. And then we'll do one last section on graphs.